All right, here we are on the 2021 AP Physics 1 free response, the last free response question. And as usual, if I have any mistakes, please, um, I'll put them in the description below. So number five, uh, two pulleys with different radii are attached to each other, so they rotate along a horizontal axle through the common center. There is negligible friction on the axle. Object one hangs from a light string wrapped around a large pulley while object two hangs around from another light string wrapped around the smaller pulley shown in the figure above. M0 is the mass of object one. 1.5 M0 is the object, mass of object two. R0 is the radius of the smaller pulley. Two R0 is the radius of the larger pulley. At time t equals zero, the pulleys are released from rest and the objects begin to accelerate. Derive an expression for the magnitude of the net torque exerted on the object's pulley systems about the axle after the pulleys are released. Express your answer in terms of M0, R0, and physical constants. Okay, this is a free body diagram problem. Now, um, what do we say about, they tell us anything about the pulleys? No? Okay, I think that's fine. So I was thinking about whether I need to do, so let's just start with the free body diagram of, of each of these objects here. So I would say this guy has 1.5 M0G going down. And this guy has tension going up. And um, who's go what's the acceleration going to mean? It's definitely going to accelerate. And the system's going to accelerate. Like, object one's going to go up, and this guy's going to go down. Because this guy's, like, heavier, right? Like, in terms of the system. So if you think of the entire system, you say there's more force on this side than this side pulling up because this guy weighs more than the resistance from gravity. Okay, so that um, we're going to call this T1 because these two ropes are not the same. They're two different tensions here. And then here we're going to say, oh, they want the net, yeah, they wanted the expression for the net torque. Yeah, that's right. So then we're going to look at this guy. This is M0G, and this guy we'll say is T2. Now we want the net torque on objects pulley system. Actually, say the objects pulley system about the axle after the pulleys are released. So they want the net torque on the entire system. Okay, so they didn't want me to, to do the free body diagrams of this part. We just want to look at external forces of our whole system. And that would be just these two forces. Actually, um, we would also have maybe like um, a restoring force from the hinge. I'm going to call this like a, an axle force. Because the axle is holding it in place. Yeah, there's no, yeah. So in terms of the system, we're doing this whole object. These are the only forces. The tension forces are actually internal to the system because they wanted you to do the object's pulley system, which I did not catch when I read that just now. I wanted to double check that. So they want the net torque. And so we're going to rotate around this point, this axle right here. And so these are all the forces acting on our system. OK, so then we want to just basically, we want to say, um, what is the torque? Well, to calculate the torque, the net torque, we have to establish a direction. They want a magnitude, but I know it's going to rotate. So I'm going to make it rotate clockwise like this. And then this direction is the negative torque direction. So um, this guy is pulling down here. And if I were to draw a torque, I'm supposed to draw an R vector to the center of rotation. That's my R vector. And my torque calculation is always R perpendicular to the force. So. Um, you only want to conclude the R vector that is perpendicular to this, the component of R that is perpendicular to the downward force, and that would be R0. So the torque from object from, from object 2 would equal, uh, this is causing a clockwise rotation, a positive torque. So that would be um, R0 times 1.5 M0G. Now this force here exerts a negative torque. I'm going to use a slightly different color for its R vector. This R vector looks like this. But the torque here is in this direction. So this is um, 2R0. Right, this is, sorry, this is the, um, this is my R vector and this is R perpendicular to the force vector. So that's going to be, I would say, a negative torque of 2R0 times M0G. Okay, so my net torque here. Actually, I think I have the direction wrong. It's actually going to rotate uh, counterclockwise. So, because this is going to be a negative quantity, this is 1.5 r0mg minus two. So that's minus 0.5 r0m0g. 
And so the magnitude of the net torque, so that means I established my directions incorrectly, is 0 0.5 R0 M0G. That's the net torque. Okay. Object 1 accelerates downward after the pulleys are released. Briefly explain why. Um, the net torque is in the counterclockwise counterclockwise direction direction so net torque which equals i alpha means that the accelerate the angular acceleration is counterclockwise Object one falling is the counterclockwise motion, right? So if I'm saying if this thing is going to go counterclockwise, then that means M0 is going down, right? At a time later, T equals TC, the string of object one is cut while the objects are still moving and the pulley is rotating. Okay, the string of object one is cut, all right? Immediately after the string is cut, how do the directions of the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the pulley compare to each other? Okay, so once you've cut the string here, now you only have a net torque in the clockwise direction, but it's it's already been spinning in the counterclockwise direction. So it's gonna be spinning in the counterclockwise direction, and then now the torque's gonna be in the clockwise direction, and it's gonna start slowing down that spinning. So we would say they're in opposite directions because the angular velocity is uh, counterclockwise because object one has been falling. When the string is cut, the net torque is clockwise because it is the only torque remaining which that tells you that alpha is clockwise so angular velocity is counterclockwise alpha is clockwise they're opposite directions on the axis below sketch a graph of the angular velocity omega of the system the two pulleys at the function of time t include the entire time interval shown the pulleys are released at t0 and the string is cut at tc so initially it's feeling a positive, so uh, it doesn't matter which way you say is positive, I guess. They didn't say, um, mm -mm -mm. did they say which one they want as the positive direction? I want to double check this. I don't want to make a mistake on here. Okay, let's say, let's say counterclockwise is, let's say clockwise was positive, okay? And counterclockwise is negative. Let's just go with our negative one. So we thought it would go with negative angular velocity, so it'd start going downward. Um, now the net torque, so pro, so for T less than TC, remember the net torque is equal to 0 0.5 M, what was the quantity I had, I wrote down, uh, R0, M0, G, M0, R0, G. And then after TC, the net torque is going to be, um, it's only going to include um, this 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 quantity here, which is um, the one point five m zero r zero g. So this one was negative, and then this one was positive one point five m zero r zero g. That means the acceleration is three times as much here. There's a three x acceleration factor that we have to consider. So initially, he's going to have a slope. Let's make it one over three, so that then the slope can be positive one. So I go over three, down one, over three, down one, uh, and then like there, ish. Okay. And then now the slope's gonna be positive one. And when do we stop? Okay. I would just say, I guess you don't really know, but the slope should be one here. What I was trying to say, this slope should be one, this slope should be three times of this slope. <laughs> 
And that's because the net torque is three times as much once you've cut the string. So the slope should be a little bit different. Uh, and it should be positive because then the net torque is positive. It's, it's clockwise direction afterwards. Okay, did I get everything? I skip everything? Nope, that was everything. <laughs>